transparency there. And then, um, you know, what we'll do is we'll go into our public meeting and just we'll, at the top of it, we'll discuss what this issue just to make sure that. Perfect. I am recording now and we'll work on the website part. Okay. Uh, so let's do a roll call. Oh, a roll call vote. We're recording. Um, good morning, everyone. Just to start our meeting, typically we would live stream this meeting, but we are having technical difficulty. It's a it's a, a service that we provide to really um, ease the burden, particularly for the media, so that they don't have to hold a phone line open. So our apologies, but this meeting is being recorded, and the recorded version will be available on our website. If you wish to, uh, uh, if you're hearing this, you've, you've dialed in. If you really want a link in, um, just make a request. Uh, uh, if you could put that on the website to Crystal, your email address, and they can, they can, um, you know, link in as well. This is going to be a relatively short meeting. Good morning, commissioners. Roll call vote. Commissioner Cameron. Uh, good morning, everyone. I am here. Commissioner O'Brien. Good morning. Good morning. I am here. And Commissioner Hill. Present. Great, thank you. We'll get started then. It's public meeting number 366. There was a, 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 a to be really helpful, we decided to have this, um, this meeting out of order from our Wednesday meeting because timing is a little bit helpful. Um, we'll get started then with item number two, uh, Todd. Good morning, Madam Chair, Commissioners and everybody. Um, we'll jump right in. Uh, you'll recall that there were two separate lawsuits filed in or about August of 2019 uh, relative to the application of the Gaming Commission's blackjack rules at both MGM and Encore Boston Harbor respectively. The blackjack part of the cases have both been resolved. However, uh, the Encore case included a second piece that has not been resolved and that relates to the kiosks or ticket redemption units as they're called um, at the facility. The complaint essentially alleges that the machines did not pay out change upon the insertion of a Tito uh, ticket when uh, patrons attempted to cash out uh, their tickets. So to that end, uh, the plaintiff in that particular matter has served two subpoenas. The first was served upon the commission itself for deposition testimony um, and the provision of certain documents. That is uh, what's referred to as a 30B6 subpoena. That's a rule of civil procedure. Um, the second subpoena, though, was served on Ed Bedrosian, who is, of course, the Gaming Commission former executive director. That subpoena directs that he similarly offer deposition testimony as well as provide certain documents. The sole issue before you at the moment is whether the commission is agreeable to covering the costs of legal fees incurred by Mr. Bedrosian relative to addressing and complying with the subpoena that was served upon. Anderson and Krieger, uh, who of course represent us in the matter, uh, have agreed to represent him as well. And there does not appear to be any conflict associated with that dual representation in this instance. Uh, of course, if that were to ever change, we would need to ensure that he uh, find separate counsel. But in any event, uh, at the moment, there is no conflict. The commission does not have a policy um, on the subject of covering such uh, legal expenses, but has in the past covered legal fees for former employee engaged in litigation related to their work at the commission. Um, it's important to note that neither the commission nor Mr. Pedrosian have been accused of wrongdoing or are a party uh, to the litigation in any way. The question presented is solely related to coverage of costs related to addressing and responding to the subpoena by Mr. Bedrosian. That's, that's the only issue that's before you at the moment. Um, so with that, uh, perhaps Madam Chair, I can uh, pause and uh, see if there are any questions uh, that I can address or if there's any discussion on the matter. Questions for Todd? Clarification as to the scope or anything. Um, <clears throat> I think it's uh, really helpful, Todd, that you did emphasize that this is litigation that uh, the commission is not a party to, correct? 
And, yeah. um, and this is the subpoena that um, Mr. Bedrosian, uh, is it in his official former capacity or personal capacity? Um, I, I, well, it's, he, it was served in, I believe, his capacity as the former executive director. I believe they're aware that he's no longer the executive director. That's, yeah, as long as they understand that, yeah. Um, uh, any, any, there's no questions then. Uh, Todd, you are looking for um, a motion. This would be to, for uh, the Gaming Commission to cover the legal costs associated with this particular subpoena issued to Mr. Bedrosian alone. This, this single subpoena. So if um, I have a motion to that effect, that would be helpful. Certainly, Madam Chair. I move that the commission authorize the payment of reasonable legal fees on behalf of former, former Executive Director Edward Bedrosian related to the deposition subpoena issued in the matter of Schuster v. Wynn Resorts Holdings. Second. Any questions or suggested edits? Excellent. We'll take a roll call vote. Commissioner Cameron. Aye. Commissioner Hill. Aye. Commissioner O'Brien. Aye. And I vote yes, a little out of order today. Uh, so four zero, thank you, uh, Todd. Okay, um, before we move on to item number four, is there any other business that uh, anyone needs to address at this time, given the opportunity? All right, so the, as you understand um, from our agenda, there is another item that is anticipated for executive session. And in order for us to move into executive session, I do need to read the entire language into the report and then we'll have a vote. The commission does anticipate meeting in executive session in accordance with General Laws Chapter 30A Section 21A3 to discuss strategy with respect to Schuster et al. v. Wynn Resorts Holdings LLC et al. as discussion at an open meeting may have a detrimental effect of the litigating position of the commission. And so with that, do I have a motion? Uh, Madam Chair, I would move we go into executive session for the reasons um, you just mentioned. Second. Okay. Um, Commissioner Cameron. Aye. Commissioner O'Brien. Aye. Commissioner Hill. Hill. Aye. And I vote yes. Four zero on that. And we will move into executive session. And I believe the way that we will do this is um, we will all leave the meeting to the team. Thank you for attending. And then those of us who are invited to the executive session, there's a separate uh, virtual connection in your calendars. Thank you, everyone, and good morning. Have a good Monday. Thank you.